I started martial arts when I was nine years old just because uh, I always loved it I always uh, admired martial artists I loved the uh, kung fu movies yeah just been a thing uh, as long as I remembered I always loved martial arts so I wanted to start with, like uh, kung fu or uh, something like that but my mom wouldn't let me so when I was nine years old I started to wrestle and I wrestled for uh, about 10 years before I transitioned to um, MMA. Hey guys, Volkan Özdemir. I'm here at Frontline Academy in Oslo. Uh, I came here to help uh, Jak train for his uh, upcoming fight in UFC Denmark main event. So he's looking great, man. Uh, I had some really hard round of sparring with him. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna win the fight. That's for sure. He's uh, he's in great shape. He's looking really good, and uh, I really believe in him. Uh, now we're going uh, to Real Mat, uh, which is a, a food sponsor of mine. So uh, we're gonna get there and uh, grab something to eat. And then we're going to my osteopath to do some treatment on, on my body. And then we're gonna train again. So it's full, full schedule. He's really unique. He has a, a way of, of motiva motivating others with his uh, just his persona and his uh, his uh, general just way of being. Uh, but he's uh, what I like about him so much is he's he's the same guy when I started training that he is now, even with all this attention that he's getting. And for him, it's, it's, it's so much about the sport and not everything else. And, and uh, it's just uh, it's really beautiful to see. He's, he's uh, my main training partner. He's been for many, many years, and uh, I I attribute so much of, of uh, my own skill set and and uh, I think even work ethic to to him uh, as a person. <laughs> I'm, I'm very confident that he'll reach his goals and he'll be champion and we said it for a long time way before he even got to the UFC that, that he was supposed to be there and, and, and now he's just enjoying the fruits of his labor. smilte och pekade på varandra och blinkade blunkade till varandra och vi höll på lite grann sån på arena vi, yeah. vi satt sån nära varandra så på matchen va? We have just been to uh, Tormotten at Briskeby osteopati. Uh, he is my osteopath and he helps me to uh, stay alive. <laughs> he helps me to to keep uh, loose and uh, and ready for uh, all the training that I put my body through. He said that my body is really good right now. He could feel that there was not much tension there. So uh, he was happy and uh, I was happy. It's so sad that Karlo went over the line and all the people were there. But he didn't have to be able to... Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's the manager, he should also be there. <laughs> now we are at uh, Sats Coliseum here in Oslo and uh, I'm about to do a strength and conditioning session with my long-time strength and conditioning coach Joachim Rassi. This is where the fun begins for Jack. He gets to squeeze the ball. Ready? Do people don't know how hard it is. <laughs> and 30 seconds. Crunch it. Uh, I have no idea what we're gonna do today. You know, it can be some uh, some strength work, some explosiveness, some balance, some reaction. Uh, you never know with this guy, so I just show up and do whatever he tells me.
Uh, we're here at Frontline Academy, just did a morning session, a short sparring session uh, where I was joined by my friend uh, Volkan Estemir, a uh, great light heavyweight fighter. So we did, uh, we did a couple of rounds. Man, fuck you, Teta. <laughs>